Welcome back, Wowzery, the game Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, and this time I decided to try to do one actual Dreadnought, no, no first generation Dreadnought, against two late generation pre-Dreadnoughts, no, there we said no, the Dreadnought took over the pre-Dreadnought, let's do a one on two battle here, I know if I went up to like, no, 19... 15, 1920, it could easily take on two of these. But this was a time frame where the Dreadnoughts were just coming out. They were supposed to be superior, and let's see how much. I just decided to go with the US one here. We'll see how this works. Might be a bit fast on that end. The technology. I won't have superior technology this time. I'm going to go with semi-oil because I think that does save some tonnage. Increases the cost, but... Might try forced. Give some of that. I'm going to go out with crep, th crep 2 there. Barbet armor. Double hull. Uh, set two is the best I can do. I'm gonna go with heavy shells and gotta increase this stuff right here. Ooh, hmm. Wow, that's just a lot of flash fire. It looks like a little bit less, but still a lot. Hmm. I think white powder looks like the lowest. I've got to get myself a range finder. Main tower. Oh. Do I go with a bit of weight savings or not? And still just one location that you can put it on. Put that one there. I do need a barbette. Just standard. Nothing. Nothing major. Main guns. <clears throat> hmm. Two, three, four. That may be too much. Let's see, secondary guns, casements. I'm going to do some four inch guns here. Okay, that should do it. One torpedo tube right there. And that does allow me some tonnage to play with this right here. Bring this one on up. Bit more on the turret here. If I can bring that up to 13 inches, 12 inches, bring that up to 8. And it's getting close. Nope, overweight. 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 I'll go with that. That looks like a. Got that, 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 that. I did heavy shells. 
Hmm. No, that's too much. Let's see how does my ah. Well, that just completely. You guys are all pressing going, ah, you missed the funnel. I'll bring this down to 12 and. Nope, too much. I'll stay right there. I think that'll work. Did I do it? Undo something? I think everything's in there. Hmm. Yeah, overweight. Way overweight. Overweight. I guess I could add it into the cunning tower here. There we go. I'll go with this. Feasible, no, first generation pre dreadnought here, I guess. And see how this does. I'll do this up to ten. Not New Mexico. And there's our enemy. Way on out here. I got an interesting design a little bit. There's the main gun, secondary, large secondary right there. At least I'm assuming that's secondary. No idea what it's called yet. I guess I could have done 13 inch shells. Let's turn a little bit and I hate these long range engagements. So boring. I know some people are like, oh, no, really historical. And I'm just like, uh, just, there's no action. You fire at each other forever and maybe hit. I could turn around and <clears throat> and we could go parallel to each other. That might be interesting. I know last game I did an ironclad and one one shot shot like straight up into the air. I'm not sure where how they could have done that. I mean, even for 1860 technology, you know, aiming guns, that was just bad. Yeah, they still got the clipping issue or, you know, whatever you want to call that right there with the turret going through the superstructure. They haven't quite fixed that one. Let's go forward here. Eight kilometers. Okay. Oh, 
I am aiming at that one. Well, I've gotten four hits for whopping 22 damage. Dreadnought was to get rid of these second, no, these large secondary guns, because I believe no. If you get 10-inch secondary guns with 12-inch guns right here, the splashes at these ranges were kind of hard to to identify. Huh? Musashi. Oh, they got 13-inch guns. Nine, six. <clears throat> kind of a thin armor. But they hit me. The six inch gun hit me. I got a hit. Closing the distance a little bit more. Oh, there we go, some flooding. Forward. What do they have? Mini bulkheads. Crep 2, I think that's what I've got. Uh, anti torp 2, double hull, reinforced, anti flood 2. So, flooding these guys is going to be difficult. And there was a theory, you know, you get, an, get several dreadnoughts, you know, they really were just as strong as a, or pre-dreadnoughts, they were just as strong as a dreadnought. So, there's actually a little bit of a test of that. Oh, there's some more, more hits. There we go. Of course, the, the theory was, you now you get more guns, all the same caliber, and you'll be able to, basically, I guess, hit better, for probably not using the best terminology. But, you know, you have a uniform main armament. You can spot the shells where they're hitting, which one it just makes it easier for gunnery. And you know this was back before they had you know, the computers we've got nowadays for and the radar and all of that. Eh, I'm on fire again. Yeah, that was a that was a big hit right there. I don't have bad penetration, really. Oh, there we go. That was a good hit. And his actually should be pretty good, too. Oh, there we go. Took out a bunch of you know, health on the structure, but it was a nine inch secondary turret right there. Okay, I'm still targeting this guy, and he sank. All right. Now for the Musashi. Mus, Musashi. Mus, Musashi. Hi, Musa. Musashi. Something like that. 
I'm terrible with pronouncing names. If you've been watching my channel, you you know I I mispronounce stuff all the time. I apologize. It's not my strong suit. Let's see, 23 knots versus... Make a little bit of a turn here. Get my guns in, in a row. Whoops, what the... Hate it when that happens. There we go. Oh, there's a hit. I like this one though, being able to see what you're hitting the enemy with. Which is why a lot of times I forget what's going on with my ships because I'm watching what happens here. And some penetration. Some damage. I've been hit 17 times. For 190 damage, lost a casement. There's some more hits. Uh, been watching Doctor Who videos today. My favorite is, I think it's the 11th Doctor. I forget who did it. And I think it was the ninth Doctor when the BBC first restarted it. I think it was Eccleson, Eckerts, El El Elkin, I can never remember his name. I always thought he did a real good job with Doctor Who. I think the tenth Doctor, I wasn't that, no. He didn't do a bad job, I just... He just didn't appeal to me. And I got first season of eleventh Doctor and... Or is it the 12th Doctor? What Doctor? Are we on the 13th Doctor? I can never remember. I'm just a casual fan. Oh! A s oh! Double! Double whammy! <laughs> well, it worked. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's cut that noise off. I had fun. Hope you had fun. And I shall uh, see you next video.